This morning, Dr. Matthew Lawrence, a pediatric infectious disease specialist with the University of Maryland School of Medicine, is joining us live to weigh in on this. Dr. Lawrence, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me. It's nice to be with you. So uh, let's start at the beginning. Can vaccinated children or adults get the measles? A very, very slim chance that fully vaccinated individuals can get disease in, in maybe one to two percent. So if you're vaccinated, you are protected. For those who aren't, is it a large percentage of the population that that, it, that are not vaccinated for the measles? Unfortunately, we are seeing increasing numbers of children who are not vaccinated because of different reasons, mostly parent refusals. So, uh, and also with the COVID-19 pandemic, we've seen vaccination rates worldwide go down just because of lack of adequate uh, healthcare resources. Wow. So those two combined together, and now with the resurgence in travel, we're seeing more individuals travel, and that permits measles to, to spread pretty easily. So those uh, reasons combined explain why we might be seeing increased numbers of cases now. Are there any concerns for, for parents who, you know, obviously are, are thinking they don't want to do this, of why they shouldn't get this vaccine? Are there any dangers, any side effects? There are definitely dangers to measles disease itself. Uh, it can cause brain swelling in up to uh, one in 1,000 cases. It can actually kill two per 1,000 individuals who develop the virus. 20% of cases are hospitalized. It's a deadly disease. Because of measles vaccination, we've actually averted 56 million deaths from 2000 to 2021. So vaccination is a life-saving uh, measure that we yeah. should all encourage parents to take. You know, in commercial break, Dr. Lawrence, I, I was chatting with you about the last time we spoke about this same topic. Uh, we think it was about last summer when there was an outbreak at that point. Is there concern uh, among health professionals such as yourself that we're seeing these numbers start to rise? Definitely there is a concern, and especially because the virus is so very contagious and we're seeing lower numbers of vaccinated children than we have before the pandemic. So all those combined together are cause for concern. For those who are unvaccinated, what signs, symptoms do they need to look out for? Absolutely. So initially, within one to two weeks after exposure, you'll see runny nose, you'll see cough and high fevers, and then later a rash will develop. So especially in unvaccinated children, parents need to, to be particularly vigilant mm -hmm. and take them to their health care providers and, and let them know what signs and symptoms they're seeing before they go. And hopefully get treatment uh, right away. Dr. Lawrence, thank you very much. We appreciate you getting this word out. My pleasure. Thanks for having me. Mm -hmm. I'm Megan Gillen. Thanks for watching. Here's another video to watch. Also, please take a moment to subscribe to our channel.